Hey guys, what's up? We have a big problem. We're in the middle of nowhere, literally, and my car does not want to start. Let's see. Ah, oh boy, it's not going in ready mode. What would you do when your hybrid car does not go into ready mode? Now, it's my fault. I left this light all night long yesterday and the battery completely drained. So, I'm gonna have to call hybrid mode in three, two, one. Yeah, back in operations. Now, let's see what's going on with the Pro Box. Here we go. Oh boy, oh boy, Pro Box. You didn't choose the best time to come back. Conditions, you know. Let's see. Let's check the battery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The voltage of the battery is actually pretty low, so I'm gonna have to jump start. But what in the world am I going to use? It's a good thing that I can prepare with my Ava Pro. Thank you so much for sending me this. Let's open it up. Let's unbox and let's see what we can do with it. Can we jump start the Pro Box using this Ava Pro? Let's go. Let's see. Oh, I really love this presentation. Let's see. Ava Pro. Let me check it out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, what? Okay, so this is this looks like the interface with an action button to activate standby blues and ready in green. Okay, hey, I like this. Let's see what else we got here. A jack for oh, for, okay for a car charger. Okay, let's see what else we got. USB A with USB Type C. It has a quick guy down. Oh, you can also download the app. What? Portable car jump starter user manual. Now let's see the unit. Ah, oh, watch this. No, 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 no. This is too beautiful. Avapo, 12 volts and 6,000 amps. 6,000 amps of current. Ooh, this is a beast. Okay, let's see what else we got. So we got over here the connection. Okay, for this is for the jump starter interface. It goes right here. The DC outputs, which means that with this, you can charge another unit. USB two output as well fast charging usb one output and type c it also has the like the starting button let me see okay i think it has a lamp as well let's see oh, let me put that again what look at this <laughs> now without wasting any time let's use the avapo a68 to jump start the pro box okay it has a, like some sort of like a rubber cover right here that's it, she's fully connected. How difficult could be the process of jump starting a hybrid car? Come on over and let me show you. <laughs> okay, come this side. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is still showing in blue. It's, it says standby. I'm gonna connect first the positive, positive pole right here. And then I'm going to connect the negative pole. There it is. Now look. Right now, it's showing us in ready mode, but we have by chance current flow here. See? Yeah, look, you're going to see some current flow. That means that when it closes the contact, the potential difference between both battery makes this battery to charge this battery quickly. Telling us clearly that jump starting a car, whether it's a hybrid car or non-hybrid car, once you connect your jump starter, you don't want to crank the engine right away. You have to allow the charger to charge the battery and try to mm, levelize or balance the amount of energy. Now, once I see there's no more current flow, I realize that the battery completely has balance, which is now time to start. Let's see if, let's see if it starts now, come. All right. Let me just connect it. Press the brake. And starting in three, two, one. Ah, there you go. That's it. That was all the problem. If it wasn't for my good friends from Avapo, the A68, I would not be able to charge my car right here in the middle of nowhere. Something that I really like about this uh, connection is that this is actually a smart interface. And you can see right here, it has one that says LC, HT, and RC. And look at over here, it's saying low capacity, which means that the battery is discharged. The RC is reverse connection if you connect it in reverse polarity. And HD means that probably the interface could be overheated. Here the contact are closing and opening. When it closes, there it is. And then opens up again. There you go. And it goes in standby. How come? Because there's too much current flow and then we have to allow it to close by itself. If by chance this fails, it also gives you the option that force start. 
that this start function is if the above operations cannot start your car please use the four start button and then you'll have to start the vehicle within the 30 seconds so it is truly a smart jump starter. I'm super satisfied with my good friends from Avapo. I leave you guys the information right here. If you want to download the app or the information, it's time to put it away. I am definitely going to check this light torch tonight. That's it, Avapo. In the meantime, I will continue with my vacations. Bye-bye. If you want to learn more, stick around for this. I'll see you then. Bye bye.